Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to uh, give you a little taste of what my beehive looks like from the inside. Um, it's really hard to film one-handed and I certainly can't uh, try and manipulate my bees one-handed. So I'm just going to be cutting in and out and uh, just showing you bits and pieces. Um, so I always start with my smoker ready. Um, and it's just burning. It's not chemicals. It's just burning um, some green grass cuttings and uh, some pa packing paper because that's what I had handy. So you can see that the bees kind of fly in and out of these holes here. So there's some bees coming back to the hive. Um, so I always just put a little bit of smoke in the entrances just to give them, get them a little ready for me opening up the hive. Uh, and to show you what I have with me, so this is um, a hive brush. And what it's for is when I do open the hive and I go to put it back together, you brush the bees off the sides before you put the lid and stuff on. That way you're not crushing any bees by accident. Uh, and then this is a hook tool. Uh, some people use a flat one. I like the hook um, because it's really good for prying the frames out. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to show you that, but it depends how, how I can manage with one hand, okay? So bear with me. So I've removed the lid and the uh, nest box that's on top, that's just for insulation. And right now you can see into the hive. Now, unfortunately, what I have to do is this comb here that you can see them building is on top of the frames, between the frame and the lid, and they shouldn't be building comb there. Um, what it's gonna do is actually force the lid to be stuck. So I can't even lift it off. Um, so I have to, and they're gonna be so mad, because of all their hard work, but I have to pry this lid off and scrape off any of that comb um, from both the lid and the top of the frame and hope that they build in the right place next time. Um, unfortunately, I've had to do this a couple times, so they're probably gonna be pretty angry with me, but we'll figure it out. Okay, let's get this open, guys. So you can see what a shame that is because that is all wasted honey and wasted comb, so uh, they're not gonna be very happy about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape all this off, but I'm gonna leave it nearby so that they can still eat it. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but they are definitely working on the other combs though. I can start to see that. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some of that as we go. So I've opened my hive. I pulled out one frame because it's easier to manipulate with one out of there. It's pretty much empty, although it looks like there's a group of bees that are, st are starting to think about building comb on here, which is awesome. Um, so when you get your first set of bees, these three frames in the middle here are what's called a nuke, um, or I think it's for a nuclear colony. Um, it's a frame full of bees, usually a frame full of a sugar syrup or honey, and a frame full of brood is generally what you get. Um, so I put them in the middle here and then I put, I put them in an eight hive uh, box. So there are three frames on this side of them and two frames on this side of them. And aside from the naughty comb building that they're doing on the top that they're not supposed to be, um, they are actually doing a great job. And I'll just lift this frame out to show you. They're doing a great job of building new comb. You can see that's full of bees, but they're building new comb in the empty frames, which is what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so that's good. They're not entirely a lost cause. So you can see lots of new comb. Bees diligently working away uh, on that, which is awesome. So I think what I'm going to do actually is leave this empty frame out so I can put a bit more space between these frames. Um, and that way they won't feel like they can fill in the middle parts, which is where I don't want them making comb. Um, so you can see I've scraped all of the honey and stuff that they made off the, off the lid here, and there are bees feasting on it, because why on earth would you waste such beautiful honey? Um, you could theoretically use it, harvest it, but um, I'd rather they had it. They worked so hard for it. Um, so I just keep giving them a little smoke every now and then just to keep everybody calm. Um, but so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out these other frames. These ones seem to be empty. Yeah, empty. Oh, this one's got a little bit of new comb. 
can see it just there, which is awesome. Slide that one over so I can have better access. And then what I'm gonna be doing now is looking for the queen. She should be in, probably in the middle frame, I would guess. Um, I'm also gonna check and make sure that some of these are brood cells. Um, some of them are honey cells. Uh, they're probably making lots and lots of brood in there. So I'm just gonna check and see uh, worker cells and drone cells, make sure everything's going smoothly and uh, yeah, try and knock some of this extra comb off the top that they keep building against my will. It's these like drunk bees are just, oh yeah, that's good honey. So funny, good job bees. So yeah, um, so this is comb that came with the nuke. This black plastic frame, I'm not a fan of the plastic, but uh, it, it came with a nuke as well. Um, eventually I will replace it out with a wood frame. Um, but yeah, things are looking pretty good in there. So let's see if we can find the queen and then I'll show you what she looks like. So this frame seems mostly full of honey. Uh, you can tell they're working hard on that comb there. Um, so there's plastic comb beneath this. It's like a starter comb. I'm not a huge fan of that either. The bees don't seem to need it that much, but uh, that's how nukes come. Um, so you can see here where the honey is being capped. That means it's at sort of ideal moisture content and uh, it's ready to eat, but they'll save it until they need it. Um, you can see some bees putting honey in these cells here, making honey, so they're doing a great job. This is some comb that I need to scrape off the top. So I'm gonna smoke these bees and uh, try and get the hive tool scraping that off. They'll be pretty mad about that, but they should have made it in the right place is what I say. Anyway, do this before they get too mad at me. Well, I checked and I couldn't see the queen today. Um, it's possible the hive's been open for a longer than usual uh, because I had to clean all that gunk off. So um, it's possible that um, she's kind of just slipped away and is hiding a little bit, uh, which is fine. I'm not too panicky because there are lots of nice healthy brood cells in there, uh, drone and worker cells, which means there must be a fertile queen laying. Um, so it's really just a case of, I'll come and look for her again uh, in a few days. But I did just get stung on the tip of my finger, which happens, um, hurts a little bit, not really a big deal. I'm not allergic, thank goodness. Um, I've been stung before. And it'll happen when you uh, have these. So I just wanted to, I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can, um, just to give you a sense of the, the noise inside the hive. You can see all the bees are mad at me, so they're eating the honey that I stole, which is down there. Um, so I'm just gonna zoom in and be real quiet, and you can probably hear the buzz. They're so loud. So I'm gonna close it up. I'm not gonna bother them again for a few more days because uh, they won't like that, but I am gonna double check for the queen again uh, in a few days because obviously I wanna see her, make sure she's okay, but otherwise everything looks good. And I'm gonna put a little honey on this sting because apparently that really helps. Thanks for watching.